Hi everybody, Attorney Richard Seller here, uh, finishing up another video, May 4th, 2020. Want to talk to you guys a little bit about the um, corona pandemic and some do's and don'ts for employees who are now returning back into the workplace. What are your rights? How should you be protected? And a big part of this is understanding that as employees, your rights have not gone away or have been uh, eviscerated or evaporated due to the coronavirus. Your rights remain fully intact. So let's talk about a couple of things I anticipate employers doing uh, to try to violate your, your rights as uh, people come back to the workforce. And the first one is gonna be overtime, okay? Employers are gonna claim they don't have money to pay you overtime, all right? But if you are a non-exempt employee and you work more than 40 hours a week, the law remains that you must be paid time and a half for all hours worked over 40. So if your boss tries to do that to you, I'm gonna fall back and tell you the same thing I've been saying for 20 years in employment law. And you'll see it on our other videos and on our website. Document, document, document. Even if it's a text message to your boss or an email saying, hey, why aren't we getting paid our overtime? I at least want you to have something in writing because if the employer then does something silly like fires you in retaliation, you now have a paper trail to protect yourself. So one, overtime, make sure you're being paid properly. You're not in a position right now to give your boss a free loan with the fear that you're gonna lose your job. You have rights, okay? Two, safety in the workplace. As you're coming back into the workplace, you still retain the right to insist that your workplace remains safe. And there's a law, OSHA, um, Occupational Safety and Hazard Act, which talks about an employer is legally required to provide an employee with a safe work environment, free from dangers that could um, present harm or cause harm. So coming back into the coronavirus situation, let me give you an example. Let's say the employer brings everybody back to work and everybody's working close quarters and you feel uncomfortable because nobody's wearing masks, nobody's washing their hands. The employer is making cuts in safety measures like, oh, we don't have enough harnesses, go up on that roof anyway, we gotta make money, uh-uh. The law requires the employers to provide you with a safe work environment, so back to my point, document, document, document. If your boss is asking you to work in an unsafe environment, it is your legal right to object to that. Now, I'm not saying go in guns blazing, be a professional, but be direct. Hey, I don't feel comfortable working in this environment because X, Y, and Z, there are no masks. There is no water for us to drink. There is no soap to wash our hands. You're not giving us a safety harness. You're asking us to engage in illegal billing practices, which is another whistleblower type of claim, to make more money, but that's fraud. You need, if you see something like that going on, you need to document it, even if it's a text message or an email, and protect yourself. Okay. Third, there's going to be discrimination coming back. As employers get up to speed, employees uh, who are of Asian descent are going to be insulted and discriminated against and say, this is all your fault because you're Chinese, regardless of whether the employee is Japanese or Korean or from wherever else. We saw this after 9-11 that folks of Middle Eastern descent were all called terrorists. You're going to see a lot of discrimination toward the Asian community. Again, that's illegal if you're an employee of Asian descent and you hear comments like this. Go to Human Resources and guess what? Surprise. Document, 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 okay? Um, you're also going to see some discrimination against folks of color. Um, the African-American community was hit very heavily by the coronavirus. And you're going to see that there's going to be insensitive employers who are going to make comments, jokes, or treat people of color, African-Americans, in a disparaging way. Again, that's illegal. Your rights remain intact, folks. Just because the world is upside down doesn't mean it's martial law and, you know, you can do whatever you want, Okay. You're also gonna see a lot of health discrimination, okay? Folks who are uh, either who may have had the coronavirus or who have symptoms are gonna be treated like outcasts in the workplace. That's illegal. The employer cannot treat somebody based on a perceived disabling condition in a negative manner because of that. That is essentially what boils down to disability discrimination. Document, document, document. Finally, if you need to take Family Medical Leave Act and you qualify, you can do so. Even if you've had all this time working from home, and let's say, for example, you've got a childbirth or a major surgery coming up, your rights remain intact. Family Medical Leave Act has not gone anywhere. In fact, it's been expanded. Okay, 
Quick recap, employee rights. Hopefully this is helpful. If you need us, you can always email us at intake at floridaovertimelawyer.com. Go to our website, www.floridaovertimelawyer.com and check out our website. We've got articles on there for employee rights, what you need to do to protect yourself. Remember guys, you're coming back. You got to feed your family. I understand that, but you also got to stay safe because if you're in an unsafe environment or you're doing something unhealthy and you get sick, you're of no use to your family. Love you guys. Stay safe.